Good afternoon, everyone. It's Gloria, and I'm sounding just a little bit hoarse this afternoon. Um, for some reason, this happens to me every now and then, so uh, please forgive my gruff voice, but um, I wanted to get a video in before this evening is over, and this is Theme Thursday, and it's pastels, and uh, I have Lily Beth in some pastel pink. Uh, among a little darker, uh, more like hot pink, I guess you would say. But this is more of the Pretty Pink collection from Carter's, the one that came out several years ago, uh, around 2004 to 2006, somewhere in that area. And I have been busily collecting this, and I have a good number of pieces now. I can't wait to share them all with you. Some I have on order as we speak. I'm waiting for those to come in. And uh, I will show you Lily Beth right now. <clears throat> of course, this is the pretty pink blanket that I've shown in a previous video. And I happen to have this headband and it is the same pattern and the same material as another piece of the pretty pink. So I'm just guessing that perhaps it came with one of those sets. I've had this headband for a couple of years now. Got it at Goodwill, I believe. But um, as you can tell, it's exactly the same color pink and it's the same fabric as uh, one of the outfits. So I have that on her. So I'm gonna just go on and say that that's in the pretty pink line. And here's her little bunny. It's so sweet. It says sweetheart on it. And this is also a piece of the pretty and pink line. Um, they have a good many toys. I don't know that I'm going to try to get all of them because some of them are quite large. And I love the ones that are cuddly and that fit against Lily Beth's body like a little lovey. I think she appreciates that size much better. Let me move that for just a minute. Then you see that she has on um, the bib. And this was new with tags. And um, it came with a pair of socks and so i have new socks but the interesting thing about this instead of just a plain cotton embroidered um, um what am i trying to say ladies bib uh this one seems to be lined and this is like a not just fabric but this is almost like a vinyl or something on the back rather than material or either it's lined with vinyl and it just but i can feel that thickness in there so that's pretty neat and i love the fact that it comes around the neck and has the beautiful little embroidered flower up there at the top and let's see if i can remove this so you can see her pretty sleeper this was new with tags also. Now this is a little bit large on her. It's a three month size. And of course, you know, Lily Beth is zero, I mean, newborn to, uh, or zero to three, but I really don't mind sleepers and things like that being a little bit big on her. I think babies are really sweet when they, you know, look all cuddly and, you know, um, uh, sleeper that fits them a little bit too big. I just feel like they have more room to wiggle around in. <laughs> but it's very sweet. It has pretty um, pink um, painted snaps. Beautiful trim going down the front. The pretty little pockets that are real pockets with the flowers embroidered on them. And the sweet little feet. So that's Miss Lily Beth for today. And I thought while I have you, I will just would like to show you um, out my front door. We have a crepe myrtle tree that we planted about 11 years ago. Very, very small. It was a bush at that time. And unlike my neighbors who trim their crepe myrtles every year, we have not trimmed this one other than just, a, you know, just a snip or so here and there, but certainly not cut them back. And uh, last year, there were only one or two blooms on it, but this year it's in full bloom and I just wanted to share it with you all. It has a beautiful shape. So I'm gonna take you through my hall and out my front door. And uh, 
show you this crepe myrtle. Watch my step here. I'm to fall. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is in full glorious bloom. I'll walk down the stairs. I have to be very careful here. I don't want to fall. My husband fell down these stairs a number of years ago while he was painting and broke his wrist in several places and had to have major surgery on it. So I'm extremely careful when I walk down these stairs. I'm gonna go out here in the yard and I'm going to turn around. Let's see, maybe move a little bit further, give you all a view of our street here. A view of my home. And there is the tree. Let's see if I can walk up here a little bit better, get a little bit better shot of it. Walk into a hole here. <laughs> Let's see. Let me back up a little more. Apologize for the shakiness. But there, can you all see a full crepe myrtle in all its glory? <laughs> it's just beautiful. And we didn't have just a couple of blooms last year. And I believe it was because that it wasn't trimmed back or the lack of water. We didn't have much rain last year as we've had the beginning of this year. And so I think that's had something to do with it. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you all. And uh, oh, while I'm out here, I'll back up and show you my home. I don't know if I can get it or not. Let's see. That's a street view. My neighbor. Everything is so green. The houses are all covered around here. But uh, this is my home. We had a big tree cut down last fall. Left a huge hole in the front yard and spot but there's no grass and so we're trying to get that to fill in but anyway that was kind of unexpected I didn't plan on doing that but I did want to show you my tree so I hope you all are having a wonderful afternoon and um, I'm enjoying your theme Thursday videos and I hope I get a chance to do the vintage theme um, so I'm gonna try for that but anyway I will let you all go for now and uh, we'll talk to you again really soon so I send love and hugs and blessings and one more picture of my beautiful beautiful tree that won't last like this very long so I'm glad I'm getting it on film so I'll say bye for now bye bye everybody